Hi, I'm Jen. And I'm Daryl. Welcome to Planted in Paradise. This week we thought we should get our garden going because the spring is just coming full steam ahead. So we needed to catch up. So we got a few things delivered and we worked very hard together with the company of behind us here, the goats. Um, it's a joy having somebody around, at least even when you're mumbling while you're shoveling. <laughs> but uh, come along, you'll see the adventure. Fun times. Springtime is here, and so that means gardening. This week we're gonna be getting 10 yards of compost that we're gonna put down on my garden bed. But before I do that, I have to put all of these cardboard boxes down to keep the weeds from coming up. We are trying a no-till garden. Um, so I have to take all the tape off. Fun times. So I have already put down um, some cardboard on our no-till garden. I've got about a quarter done. And I have some more boxes that I'm gonna go put down there. And then I guess it's out to find more boxes because I don't have quite enough. Uh, but yeah, so this is what I'm doing today. I prep my garden bed. We received our load of compost. Haven't quite got all of the cardboard down yet, but uh, I'll get that today. And we're gonna work on spreading this out.
So here I am again. Uh, I didn't film it the first time, but I actually started my plants uh, a week or two ago. And our fat boy, Widow, he decided that he wanted to play in the, in the dirt. So he knocked them all off onto the floor of our laundry room. Um, and so I am plant, doing my planting, my starting here, but I'm gonna be moving them into um, our office area which has a, as much sunlight as this window does. This is a south facing window. And so it's beautiful and warm during the day. And so that's why I'm starting them here, but I will be moving them just into the next room when they're all started. And hopefully he won't get in there to disturb these ones. It's getting a little late to start them. So there are some actually that I had started in the seed trays, but I'm now going to start out in the garden because it's getting warm enough and it's just probably one or two nights of frost left and some of them are a little bit more frost hardy like cabbage and Brussels sprouts and broccoli so uh yeah I'm gonna get those started out later today outside but these ones tomatoes peppers um some herbs that kind of thing I'm gonna start indoors so here I go well little seeds um i'm gonna just spritz them with some water and hopefully that sun comes out it's supposed to be sunny for the next couple of weeks so this is going to be a beautiful spot for them to germinate can't wait to see how they turn out uh so it's been a long couple days uh we got a load of dirt and finally with beautiful weather um i've been working back here on the septic system and jen's been working on the garden over here um, and it's putting seeds in. Uh, we had a, one c c catastrophe with the seeds. Oh, um, Jen, tell you. And, yeah, I've already uh, talked about that. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, so uh, so you know what the cat did, and bad, bad, bad. Bad boy. Yeah. So as soon as we get the tools and the safety equipment, I'll be up there to get rid of that little thing up there called the chimney. <laughs> and then once the chimney's gone, then we'll be able to put the strapping on and put the roof on. Looks like the next couple weeks is going to be real good weather. If mm -hmm. those safety equipment comes in, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, but I'm very anxious to get going on it. I'm tired of digging. But uh, it's not going to finish. I still have to put posts in for Jen to keep the deer out, uh, keep the goats out, and every other critter. So that's one another task, but that's another adventure. <laughs> You're going to plant it in paradise. Have a good week, everyone. Yes, have a great weekend.